when buying anything the question of if I spend this much more do I then get that much more is always there. For example is the Fujifilm X-T30 Mark II actually half the quality of the X-T5 aside from a built in flash continuously shooting for longer and being lighter the X-T30 is worse than the X-T5 in pretty much every way but does that still make the X-T5 worth double the price? I obviously believe so as I bought the X-T5 as a replacement for my previous everyday carry. Before I always brought my Lumix DX85 either with the 12 to 32 pancake lens or an adapted M42 lens and I loved it. Especially this 50mm I had that had this swirly bokeh similar to the Helios 44-2. It was super small and light enough for me to want to bring it with me everywhere. But still I didn't. Only as much as I could as I, while still living in Denmark, was pretty limited by one factor. They say that the best camera is the one you have with you and I wholeheartedly agree. But I would also say that you should then buy the best camera that you would actually then bring with you. In so many ways, both the Fuji X-T5 and the X-T30 Mark II are huge upgrades to the Lumix DX85. But only this X-T5 has the one thing that kept me from bringing my Lumix pretty much everywhere. And that is weather sealing. Every time it rained or rain was even just forecasted when I had time to go out and shoot, I would really hesitate to bring my Lumix with me because I was afraid that just a little bit of rain would seep in and destroy the camera and even when I brought it I spent energy and attention on babying it instead of actually focusing on my photography. So actually being confident in taking my camera everywhere and it being durable enough for withstanding small changes in the weather caused me to take this out twice as much as I would my Lumix. And that is single-handedly worth double the price for me. Double the opportunity to take photos, double the worth. And I believe the only reason to upgrade your camera gear is if it's actually holding your back in a notable way. And this was. Of course, when I also use my cameras for my business, I could also justify spending a bit more to get a better and more reliable tool. This X-T5 combined with Fujifilm's own WR lenses was the perfect upgrade for me. And even just the fact that Fujifilm specifies which lenses are very resistant so clearly was a huge plus. So now I bring it everywhere I go. If I want it to be a bit more of the size of my previous GX85, then I would just throw on the 26mm f2.8 pancake lens or even the 23 f2 because that's only slightly longer. And this is also better in low light, especially with Fujifilm's 1.4 primes that are just amazing. But disclaimer, this is not a personal recommendation for you just because weather sealing was a huge pain point for me doesn't mean it is for you if you don't regularly shoot in dusty or rainy environments a simple rain cover might be the right solution i own those too and it does work better than the weather resistance that is in the cameras and the X-T30 Mark II, while not better than the X-T5, is still an amazing camera. To buy an upgrade to the right camera is a very personal choice and nobody can really tell you what the right camera is. I find that when people ask, many photographers recommend what they use themselves and I think that's one of the worst advice you can give. Instead, learn about the different cameras, learn about the different specifications and most importantly, find a lot of different experiences and a quick self plug if you're looking to buy your first camera especially as a hobbyist then you should definitely read my blog post that is all about the influencing the most hyped and unnecessary camera features that camera companies try to sell you these days and that's it for this time ciao